Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. X9. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Flash and we're doing season two, episode 15, and it's called King Shark. So we start off the episode where uh, they're very upset about Jay dying, but they can't open the breach to get him back. So um, as they're trying to figure out what else to do, um, Harry, Harrison Wells tells them not to say anything about the Earth 2 counterparts to anybody. They agree, but it's really hard for Barry, just in um, his situation. They had Dig and Lila are in this um, episode, so it's like a little mini crossover, and Lila's now the... I think she's already died in Arrow. Anyway, the video's already been up, so anyway. So she's like the new director, so she's handling everything, and they just happen to be in Central City at one of their bases with King Shark in containment but they don't when they're trying to feed him he's not coming up to the surface like he usually does so they turn off the um, the lasers out on top of the pool and literally he jumps out and kills everybody and so he escapes then uh, Barry's a little bit distracted when talking to everyone and Caitlin is being really icy which is foreshadowing and then we had Diggle and Lila warn Barry about King Shark they have uh, so they go to this uh, nautical lab place where um, the doppelganger's wife goes to uh, works at, who specializes in sharks, and she's just like, just give me the information already. Like really being really rude. She's just being icy and cold. And then uh, Cisco's like, pull it together. <laughs> and she, he's like, are you okay? Like she said, like, just leave me alone. I'm good. Then Barry asks about Felicity to Diggle, and he, she, Diggle says she's okay, doing okay, she's doing the best she can. And then we have an awkward moment between Barry and Wally, and then we have Cisco um, slips, slips up about um, Earth 2, Killer Frost, but Kaylin reassures Cisco about um, her not having the metahuman gene. And then you have Jesse helps Wells. And then you have another awkwardness between Barry and Wally. And literally, King Shark literally shows up at Barry's house and rips open the roof. And so they all go scrambling everywhere. And then the Flash comes in and helps out, but since Wally doesn't know that, um, he escapes. And when um, Barry comes downstairs, he is rude. Slash, he's very rude to Barry. He's like, what are we doing hiding up there? And it turns out he's like kind of jealous because he's been there and he's been there longer and he's more like a son than he is to Joe. So, but then Barry decides to tell them about Earth 2 because he was very distant at dinner time. So he finally drops the ball and tells them about it. And then, um, they're, they're like, they're not upset by it or anything, they're just kind of amused a little bit by it. But um, Barry's a little bit distraught about how King Shark found him at his at the house. Turns out he had, he picked up his scent. That's how they found him. So um, with the research they found at Nautical Labs, they found a way to find King Shark. And so they set up a dummy with enough tranquilizers to literally knock him out for days, basically, and but put into a suit of the Flash. They have a funny little Jaws mode that happens where you just kind of jumps down and gets it, but it doesn't work. Then it's Team Flash versus King Shark in the water. So what Barry does is he runs in the water, he runs like in a cyclone, and basically he's like electrifying the water and then throws a lightning bolt at King Shark, and that knocks him out. And then Barry and Diggle say goodbye after he's re-put into Argus custody. And then uh, gives Barry some encouragement and then um, Joe is impressed with what Wally's doing with his car, with the engineering and how to um, amp it up and all this stuff. Then he talks to him about Barry and um, basically says like, he's a really good kid and for what happened to him and for him to turn out so well, he, that's why I'm always so proud of him, but I'm also very proud of you. And then he calls him uh, Wally a son. So that was a really kind of like a touching moment. And then we have, then we have Caitlin being kind of funny with Cisco, because apparently she talked to uh, Barry about being Killer Frost. 
So when um, she walks in and Cisco is just going about his business, he's like, hey, Caitlin, she's like, don't call me that. I hate that name. I haven't been called that in a while. So he starts to really legit freak out, which is kind of funny. And but it's also more foreshadowing though. Then Barry talks to Team Flash and gives us like a really powerful um, speech and like doing this stuff. Let's do this for Jay. And they encapsulated his um, helmet in a um, glass case. And then we go to Earth 2 where Zoom takes off his mask. And it turns out it's Jay Garrett. Yeah, so Zoom is Jay, and that's the end of the episode. So, really good episode. I really like this one. Using a lot. I'll give this an A+. Plus. It was really good, and I like the twist that Zoom is actually Jay. So, um, really good episode. I love the dynamics between everyone. It's starting to flesh out Wally's character, trying to get him more integrated into the family, and how everyone's starting to accept him more. So I really do appreciate that. And just how everything's happening. I just, I, I love it. It's really good. So that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you liked it, please go to like, comment down below on what you think of it. And then like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day. Bye everybody.